Hello, sports fans, baseball fans, and Stratomatic fans. I'm here with Game 4 of the 2005 World Series. This is the World Series in the alternate world of Sportsman Z, where the Angels actually made it to the 2005 World Series against the Astros. The Astros defeated St. Louis in my replay, as they did in real life. But the White Sox unfortunately lost to the Angels in the ALCS, which didn't actually happen in real life. But, uh, you know, the Angels advancing to the World Series didn't actually happen in real life, but it is here. So uh, we're just going to get into it. Um, the lineups today, we are in Houston. As you can see, I fixed the scoreboard. I covered up home and away because they had them on the wrong side. So the Angels are the visiting team with no points yet, no runs yet, and the Angels are the, or the Astros are the home team with no runs yet, and we are in the top of the first. And uh, we are uh, pitcher bat in this game. So the lineup for the Angels will be Sean Figgins at third, Garrett Anderson in left, Vlad Guerrero in right, Benji Molina at catcher, Erstad at first base, Cabrera at short, Steve Finley in center, and Maser is Turris at second base. With Colon, the pitcher for today, Bartolo Colon, batting ninth. Uh, Bartolo Colon in 2005 was 21 and 8 with a 348 earned run average. And, um, he will go up against the lineup of Willie Tavares in center field, Craig Biggio at second, Lance Berkman at first, Morgan Ensberg at third, Jason Lane in right, Orlando Palmero in left, Brad Osmus at catcher, Adam Everett at short, and Brandon Backey will be the pitcher today for the Astros. Brandon Backey in 2005. Was 10 and 8 with a 476 earned run average and 149 innings pitched. Um, and so I think with that, I have covered all the bases, and uh, so to speak, no pun intended. So we will get into it with Sean Figgins, the first batter. Now, on my score sheet, I did write Kochman in. I forgot that it was not DH, so we're going to just skip him when it comes to him because he's not in the lineup. Sean Figgins gets a 6'10", and that is going to be a ground ball second base C. So Figgins is a 4-3 a victim. That brings up Garrett Anderson. And he gets an 8, a 5'8", and that is going to be a walk. Garrett Anderson is aboard with a walk by... Uh, Brandon Backey, which brings up Vlad, Vlad Guerrero, the senior. Gets a 2-5, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop double play, and that is going to be a 6-4-3 double play that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And uh, Willie Tavares is up for the Astros, batting against Cologne. He gets a 4-10, which is going to be a fly ball to center. The center fielder for these um, Angels is Finley, and he's a 2, and that's a 4. And I believe that that is an out. Yes, it is. It is an out. So that is going to be a fly to center, F8. Bringing up Biggio, part of the killer bees for this team. Or wait a minute. Nope. Oh, wait a minute. All right, hold on. I got the wrong team in my hands. It will bring up Biggio because Tavares flew out. So, yes. And that's going to be a 3-5, and that's a single. So, Biggio rips a single, and that's the first hit allowed by anybody, and it's Cologne who gives it up. He's a stealing B, but he's going to hold right now. Lance Berkman up. 6-2-6 six, six is a pop-out to third. Pop-out to third base. 
And that brings up Morgan Ensberg. And he gets a 6-3. And that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a defense 3, and that is an 11. I don't like the looks of that. Let's check it out. It is, though, an out. So it is an out. So uh, he goes 1 to 3, and no runs come across for the Astros. Now it's Benji Molina up, the cleanup hitter for the Angels. He had 15 home runs that year. And he gets uh, 411, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a 2, that is a 12. That might be an error. And it is a one base error by Brandon Backey. So Molina is aboard with an E1. And that brings up Erstad. And Erstad gets a 1 8, which is a ground ball third base B. So Erstad is now the man at first on a fielder's choice. And Cabrera is up. Orla or yes, Orlando Cabrera. With one down, one on, two seven is a fly ball left. So that's going to be an F7. And that brings Finley to the plate. And I have to write that we are in the second inning. Got to keep that up to date. That is a 110 and it's ground ball pitcher A. So that is going to be a 1-3 to three since... Um, that would, the, would be the third out. So no runs come across for the Angels in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. With Jason Lane batting against Cologne. And that is a 6-7. And that's going to be a fly ball center field. So Jason Lane gets an F8 in the second. Brings up. Orlando Palmero gets a 6-2, and that's going to be a ground ball pitcher B, two away, 1-3. to three. And Brad Osmus, the awesome Osmus, gets a 1-7, and that is a single, so he's aboard. That is the second hit allowed by Cologne. It's the second hit in the game, and both allowed by Cologne, Everett up. And that is a 6-5, and that's going to be a strikeout, Adam Everett. And that's the first strikeout of the game. So no runs come in for the Astros. In the second, we go, we're go. we moving right along to the third inning of a scoreless ball game here in Game, in game 4 of the World Series. And Mazuris Turris is the batter. He gets a 4-12, and that's going to be a ground ball first base C. So that's a ground out three. Ground out three with the pitcher up, Cologne. He gets a 6-11, and 6-11 is going to be a fly to left, and the left fielder uh, for the... Astros is a three, and that is a five. I believe that's an out, but let's take a, just take a reality check, and it is. So that is a uh, fly out to, um, that was the first batter, so that's an F7. And Sean Figgins is up. Or wait a minute. That was an F7 for... Yeah, that was F7. All right, I recorded it for the wrong person. It was an F7 for Cologne, not for Backy. Backy hasn't batted yet. Uh, but Sean Figgins is up, and he gets a 5-5, five, five, and that is going to be a strikeout. So, um, is that it? Is that? I think that's it, because that's what I've got. i got a ground out for his tourists, a fly out for Cologne, and then a strike out for Figgins. All right, so yeah. No, me, we're running, we're moving along briskly here. So now Brandon Backey is up, so we'll see what he gets. I had recorded a fly out because I was on the wrong side of the score sheet, but we'll see what he gets. It is a 4-11, and that is going to be a fly to right. The right fielder... For the Angels 
is a two, and that's an 11, and I think Backy might actually get a hit out of this. He does, he gets a single. So Backy, I shortchanged him. He actually rips a single, and he is at first base. And that's another hit given up by Cologne, although his defense lets him down on that particular one. And Tavares is up. Tavares gets a 112, and that's going to be a pop-out to third base. Pop-out five, and that brings Biggio to the plate with one down. And he gets a 411, and that's a fly to right. And the right fielder is a two, and that is an 11, and that's going to be another one. That's going to be another big something, a single two is what it is. So, uh, runners advance, uh, the, the runner is back, he advances to third on the hit by Biggio and the fourth hit allowed by Cologne, and they are really peppering Cologne here. With the infield back and one down, they're going to let the uh, infield play back. It's early in the game, and uh, this is going to be Lance Berkman with a 5-6, and that's going to be a fly left field B, and that scores the run, would have scored the run anyway. And that's the first run of the ball game. And that brings Ensberg to the plate with a man at first and two down. And he gets a 6-7 and that is going to be a ground to second base. The second baseman is a three and that is a two and that's going to be another thing. Man, the Angels defense is terrible right now. It allows a single two. It gets by as Turris. And that is going to be another base hit, which moves uh, Biggio over to third. Fifth hit allowed by Cologne. He is really getting peppered here. And Jason Lane comes up and he gets a 1-2. And that's going to be a foul out to the catcher plus injury. Seven, though. Let's check it out. He might remain in the game. Does he remain in the game? No, he's out for one game. So we're going to have to replace him. But that will be it for the um, that will be it for the um, uh, Astros. But they do get a run in the uh, third inning, and we're going to the fourth. And let's give them their run—not nine runs, but let's give them their single run that they've got so far. And we're going to have to go get a replacement for, for Jason Elaine of Houston. And this is the first time that he's going to miss any time in this postseason for the Astros. And let's see who we're going to have. Hmm. going to be Mike Lamb and he isn't really among the best defensive um, outfielders he is a right field five but we'll write his name in and Mike Lamb right field five is going to be the new right fielder replacing the injured Lane And uh, Garrett Anderson is the batter here in the fourth. Angels down by a run, needing a run, 5-8. That is going to be a walk. So Garrett Anderson works his way on with a walk. That's the second walk allowed by Backy, but he hasn't allowed any base hits yet. Vlad Guerrero gets a 4-7, and just as I say that, he allows a, a single. So now the Angels have a little something going here as the first two guys have reached here in the fourth inning the top of the fourth with the angels down by a run and molina up with two on and no outs and that's a five five which is going to be a strikeout so molina goes down on strikes that's backy's first k of the game darren erstad is up he gets a 111, and that's a single one asterisk, and the bases are loaded up with angels. 
And now all of a sudden Backy is allowing people on left and right. And the bases are loaded with one down. Same with the Astros. They're going to play the infield back. Cabrera up. He gets a 6-7. That's a fly ball B. And the same exact thing happens. It's a sack fly that scores the run. And that runner was Anderson. And uh, back he gives up a run and an earned run. Just like... Um, um, Cologne did, and the game is tied with Steve Finley up, and he gets a 2-8, and that's going to be a line out to first base. Line out three, one run comes in for the Astros, let's get that run recorded, and it's 1-1, and we're going to the top of the fifth now. Or wait a minute, we're going to the, no, we're going to, the, we're still, we're in the bottom of the fourth. That's where we are. Good thing I've got the scoreboard and the score sheets and all this stuff going on, or otherwise we would be lost in space on this one. So we're going to the bottom of the fourth inning, and uh, the batter is Orlando Palmero. And he gets a 4-9, which is going to be a single off Cologne, and Cologne just can't keep Given up the greatest hits. This is his greatest hits album. And El or Orlando Palmero is aboard with a with a base hit and no outs, and Brad Osmus up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball right field. So there's one down. And that's gonna be an F9 with Everett, the batter. He gets a 1-9, and that is a strikeout. So that's the second strikeout for Cologne. And up steps the pitcher, Backy, who got a hit last time. And that is going to be another one. Single double asterisk for Backy. Backy is their star hitter today. He's only two for two. And uh, another hit allowed. Cologne's allowed seven hits, and two of them have been Backy's. And Tavares is up. And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is going to be a fly ball to right field. So that's going to be an F9 and no run score, although they did come close. And now we go to the fifth inning in a 1-1 game with the Angels up at the plate. And the batter being Mazer Histuris. Both pitchers are still in there, although they've both given up a run. 3-10. Is going to be a ground ball first to base A, so he is out. It doesn't really matter what kind it is. It's just a ground out three is all you really need to know, and that's what he did the last time. So he's 0 for 2 with two ground outs, two, um, um, two uh, Berkman. And now that brings up Cologne. They're going to let him hit 4-6. That is a walk. So Cologne gets a board. In the fifth, with a walk, both pitchers have allowed the opposite pitcher to get on base, although Backy has done it twice with two hits. Sean Figgins gets a 6-11, and that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder, who is a 3, and that is a 10, so we're going to check that one. I think it's probably an out, and it is. It's an out 5, so uh, Figgins... Gets a fly out, so that is two down. And that brings up Garrett Anderson. And he gets a 2-8, which is a home run! Home run for Garrett Anderson, two-run shot. Which scores him and Cologne, who was there via the walk. And now Backy all of a sudden is losing. Funny how that works. And uh, we're going to get those runs for the Angels. And now it's 3-1 Angels. And Vlad, Vladdy Guerrero comes up. 
And he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is going to be a pop out to third base. But the Angels strike for two in the fifth, and they take a 3-1 to one lead with Craig Biggio, the leadoff hitter, against Cologne, who's still out there. That is a 4-3. It's going to be a first base C ground out, so he grounds out to first base. Which brings Lance Berkman to the plate. He gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball pitcher A, so he's going to be out 1-3. And that brings Morgan Ensberg up. And he gets a 2-7, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. So that is going to be an F7. And no runs come in. And we go to the now we go to the top of the sixth. And it's 3-1 Angels with the Angels batting again. And they have a chance here to add to their lead. Backey has allowed three runs, but really um, it's three runs on three hits. So, and one of those was a home run. So he's not pitching that poorly. And uh, Molina steps in. He gets a 5-11, which is a walk. So, but now it looks like maybe he is. Maybe he is starting to pitch that poorly now. After all, that is the fourth walk he's allowed. So Darren Erstad comes up. He gets a 110. That's a double. No, it's a single double asterisk. Single double asterisk. And now Backy is really showing signs of uh, fatigue here, I think. As uh, Molina advances to third and Kochman, or not, not Kochman, um, Erstad has the single. He's two for three on the day. And there is going to be some action up in the Houston bullpen now because it looks like maybe he is starting to get gassed already. And they're going to get Dan Wheeler up in the bullpen. So Houston has Dan Wheeler warming up furiously out there with Orlando Cabrera up and nobody out with runners at the corners. And he gets a 5-9, and that is going to be a home run. Orlando Cabrera hits a three-run jack, and it wasn't really uh, quick enough <laughs> for, uh, for the warm-up for Backy. So that is going to be a three-run home run by Orlando Cabrera. And in case you're wondering, Orlando Cabrera that year had eight home runs, so it's not like the power isn't there. But Backy, yeah, the, the power, the power is there for Backy uh, allowing what is now six runs, and it's a 6-1 lead for Houston. And that was only one batter, so Wheeler isn't really ready yet, and there isn't any outs, so Wheeler might have to pitch a good portion of this inning. Steve Finley is up at the plate. He gets a 3-9 and that is going to be a fly ball center field. So that's an F9. That is one away. They'll let him back to the or let him pitch to the next batter as is Turris and he gets a 2-7 which is a ground ball shortstop and uh, that is going to be a 6-3. And now Cologne is up, and they may just let him finish the inning here. The pitcher is up with nobody on. And it's a 4-11, which is a ground ball back to him, back to Backy, back to Backy. And that's a 4-2, which I believe is an out, and it is. And so he throws him out 1-3. to three. But not before the Angels do some serious damage here and they get three runs and now have a 6-1 to one lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Mike Lamb is coming up. Mike Lamb, of course, coming in earlier in the game for the injured Jason Lane, which they really didn't need. And now you got to believe Cologne has a, has a bit of rope to work with here. 6-8. But that is going to be a single for, uh, for, for Lamb here in the sixth 
to lead off the Houston sixth. So maybe he doesn't, but we'll see. I mean, it's six to one. He's got a five run lead. Orlando Pal Palmero gets a six eight, and that is going to be a single double asterisk. So you got to believe that that rope is getting very, very short, short right now. With Brad Osmus up. And he gets a 3-7, which is a fly ball B, left field B. That does score the run. So that's the second run allowed by... Um, by Cologne with Adam Everett up one out one man on five eight that's a fly ball center field two away f8 and with the uh, pitcher spot up they are you know what they're gonna let backy they're they're gonna let um oh no they're gonna pinch hit for backy yeah that's what they're gonna do they're gonna pinch hit for backy because they we're able to hold off last inning in bringing on his replacement, and that will be Jeff Bagwell. So Bagwell is going to pinch hit. <clears throat> and he is pinch hitting. Is there a man on? Is there anybody on? Uh... There is a man at first, so this could be a critical. 2-4 is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman, and the third baseman is Figgins, and he is a 2, and I believe that's going to be an out. 16-2 and two is going to be an out. So he is out of the inning. Bagwell gets uh, grounds out 5-3. Now you will see the relief pitcher for the Astros. And uh, where did he go? There he is, Dan Wheeler. So Dan Wheeler is now coming in. You can close the book on Backy. Um, the Astros did get one run there. So yeah, they have two. Um, but Backy only pitched six innings. He allowed five hits and uh, six earned runs. And we are in the top of the seventh, aren't we? Yes, we are. And the top of the seventh, it's going to be Sean Figgins, I believe. Yes, it is. Against Dan Wheeler. And he gets a 4-8, which is going to be a fly ball center field. So he gets an F-8. That brings up Garrett Anderson. He gets a 3-5, which is going to be a line out to second base. Line out four. There's two down quickly, and Guerrero is up. Vladdy gets a 3-7. That's a fly ball left field B. So that's going to be an F-7. No runs come in for the Angels in the seventh, but they still have the good four-run lead here. And Willie Tavares is up against Cologne, who they're probably going to let him get the seventh and then bring in relief. 3-5 is a fly ball center field. So Tavares flies out to center, which brings Biggio to the plate. And he gets a 4-8, which is going to be a single. Biggio with his third hit of the game. So he has been really um, giving uh, Cologne fits all game. One out, one on, Berkman up. And he gets a 3-4, which is a fly ball left field B. So he's flying out, flying out to seven. And Ensberg is up and he gets a 4-7 and that is going to be a line out to second base. 
Line out four, no runs come in. We go to the top, um, yeah, we go to the top of the eighth. With the Angels batting against Wheeler, Wheeler is still out there. Got to give him the, uh, you know, he's got to give him the old college effort here. Molina gets a 6-6, six, six, which is going to be a line out to second base. Erstad is up. We're going to re-roll that. It's going to be a 4-11. It's a left field X. The left fielder is a 3. Oh, wait a minute. The left fielder for Houston is a, he still is a 3. That's a 13. I believe that's probably an out. And it is. So that is going to be uh, an F7. And brings up Orlando Cabrera. And that's a 411, and that is going to be a fly to left, and he is a three, and that is a seven, and that is going to be an out. So no runs come in for the Angels in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and uh, they are going to replace Cologne. So Cologne is only going to pitch seven innings, which, I mean, he gave up ten hits, but only two earned runs. And... Uh, the new pitcher, let's see who that's going to be. That is going to be Kevin Gregg for right now. Kevin Gregg in 2005 was 1 and 2 with a 504 earned run average in 64 innings. He started two games and relieved the rest. And uh, I believe Lamb is up here in the eighth, bottom of the eighth. Yep. And he gets a 5 7, which is going to be a single. So Lamb gets a base hit to lead off the eight. That's his second hit of the game. And it's off of Greg. Orlando Palmero gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. That'll be Greg's first strikeout. Of course, he just came on, so. Brad Osmus. Gets a 4-6. That's a strikeout. So he strikes out the second guy he faces after allowing a base hit. And Adam Everett comes up and he gets a 3-7, which is going to be a single double asterisk and put runners at the corners. And that is a hit allowed by Greg. And now the pitcher spot is back up and they're going to do another pinch hitter. They're going to do another pinch hitting exercise here. And it's going to be Eric Bruntlett. Bruntlett will be the pinch hitter with runners at the corners and two down. And he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base A. So Bruntlett is out. And we will um, have to take Wheeler out of the game. As they tried to get that run home, or at least one run home, and it didn't work. So Wheeler pitches... I believe two innings and we are going to the ninth inning in a 6-2 game and uh, the Astros came close to scoring there but didn't and we're in the top of the ninth of a 6-2 game and Wheeler will not be the Houston pitcher anymore so let's see who is That will be Chad Qualls. So they're going to bring in Qualls. And uh, the batter is going to be Steve Finley in the ninth to lead off the Angels' ninth. And he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. So Qualls strikes out the first guy he faces. 
and gives way to Maceres Turris, who gets a 4-6, and that is a walk. Maceres Turris gets a walk. Qualls walks the man. And now with the uh, pitcher up, they're going to... They're going to let... Um, They're going to let Greg hit and continue in the game. And that's a 6-6, six, six, and that's going to be a strikeout. And so that is going to be the, uh, the inning. Greg with another strikeout. Or, or Qualls. Qualls with another strikeout. And, um, and it would have been a strikeout no matter what, even if we had brought in a pinch hitter. So we, that brings us to the bottom of the ninth, where the Astros are batting and are down by four runs. And Kevin Gregg is still out there because, as you really just saw, he had hit for himself, indicating they were going to keep him in. And here is Tavares, top of the order, and he gets a strikeout. One down here in the ninth. Craig Biggio up. He gets a 5-12. That's a walk. Biggio has managed to work his way on base. Nearly, well, he I mean, he's got three hits and a walk. The only time he was out was when he grounded out to first base back in the fifth. So there's a man aboard with one down and Lance Berkman up. And he gets a 1-3, which is going to be a ground ball double play. And that's going to be the end of the game. But there was an injury on that. But it was a 3 and so the uh, injury will be only temporary. But what isn't temporary is that the Angels have won this game by the score of 6-2. to two, And they have evened the series. Can you believe it? A series that I would just like to get over with is now tied at two games apiece. And so we will go to a game five with a 2-2 two -two tied series. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am signing off.